friends, today I want to tell you everything about my first shopping trip to IKEA. So we actually went into this IKEA in Spain because in Germany dogs are not allowed to enter the IKEA and we've read on the German website that it's because some people are scared of dogs and even though we definitely understand that for me as a super cute and friendly dog it's a little bit difficult and I mean there could be an alternative such as to wear a muzzle but yeah that's why we never went into an IKEA in Germany so we were super excited of going here and we just like got some stuff for our flat in Spain and in the beginning, I immediately met a friend of mine or like a dog friend that I didn't know yet. But I thought he was super cute because he was basically just as fluffy as I am, but much, much taller and bigger. And then we entered the IKEA and basically my parents have told me that an IKEA visit is nothing without eating a hot dog or a cinnamon bun. So we immediately did that before shopping because we were so hungry. And I tried to order something for myself through the display, but my paws didn't really respond to the display. So my mama helped me with that. And after food, we immediately went into Ikea. And immediately after entering, we found this little department for pets, which was super nice. And we haven't seen that in Germany, so I'm not sure whether they have it there. But we checked like out some dog beds and some food bowls, but we basically have everything already. So my parents were just like looking for a cute toy for me, but unfortunately we didn't find one. But since I already have so much stuff, it's not a problem. And then I met another doggo and all of the dogs I met, there were plenty of them. They were all so nice. Same as the people. The people were very happy to see me and some of them petted me, which I always love. And then I found these furs just like lying there around and I wanted to have one for my home. But my parents said that, that it's not a good idea to get a white fur for me and that I would probably destroy it if I have like my five minutes where I just like absolutely go crazy. So my parents didn't buy one for me yet, but I put that on my birthday or Christmas wish list. So maybe... Santa is gonna surprise me with it. I don't know. And basically my parents just like let me do my thing when I, we were like walking through Ikea and I could explore everything on my own, which was a lot of fun, of course. But don't worry, of course my parents took responsibility for everything and nothing went wrong so far. And actually we also, my mom carried me a little bit because the ways are very long through Ikea, so I wasn't allowed to walk too much. And then we were checking out some carpets for our flat. And as we're also renting out the flat through Airbnb, the carpet needs to be durable and resistant. So I picked one and it looks very nice. And then we moved on and then an accident happened. And guys, I'm so sorry. I thought it was real grass. So let's not talk about this and let's quickly move on to the next scene. And in the end, we just like picked up some stuff and then we got ready to leave. And despite of the small accident, like that my parents immediately took care of and cleaned up, nothing happened and it was such a nice visit and that's why we would be so so happy to go into Ikea in Germany as a family as well and we can just like only recommend to Ikea that dogs are allowed because we're cute and we add fun to the table so yeah I hope that you really enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so we can see each other in the next video as well